Emotional abuse. It sucks. So what is uh, emotional abuse? I mean, words can't hurt you, right? Well, it's not just words. Here are some examples. Well, you just go too fast, too fast. All right, if you didn't get that, just remember back in slow motion. Hopefully you get the picture off of that. I mean, emotional abuse, it's more than just calling you mean names. It's publicly embarrassing you and just doing things that can emotionally degrade you. It, even even stalking can be considered emotional abuse. It's, it's, it's just as bad as any other type of abuse. Let's look at some statistics on emotional abuse. Alright. Uh, in a study of a thousand women, 15 years or age or older, 36 had experienced emotional abuse, and while growing up, 43% had experienced some form of abuse as a child or adolescence, and 39% reported experiencing emotional abuse in a relationship in the past five years. I'm not kidding. I have this in my notes. It's right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Look, right, right there. See? Read it. It's right there in my notes. Right there. Right there. A report of child abuse is made every 10 seconds. More than 5 children die every day as a result of child abuse. Also, 80% of those kids that died are under the age of 4. It is also recorded that 50 to 60% of deaths by malnourishment are not recorded as such on death certificates. Alright, so basically, sexual abuse is a real thing that happens a lot and uh, every day, and it is a real it is a real form of abuse. It is even though you, you're not being punched in the face or abused sexually, it still hurts you emotionally, and it can really uh, just demotivate you. Just to say the least, demotivation. It can, it can, it can cause you to go into depression even. Um, and it's, it's bad. It. I'm not gonna say that it's worse than the other forms of abuse, but it, it is just as bad as being sexually or physically abused. The problem is that no one. It's hard to tell who's been emotionally abused although we do there is symptoms and uh, Nick is here to give you those here are some symptoms of your child is being abused or someone else you know is being abused they have really low self-confidence in themselves they never put themselves up they could be really anxious or jumpy or they could be depressed a lot they could always be crying or having problems at home or just walking around they won't involve. They won't be involved in activities that they would usually be involved in, or they won't be involved in the interests that they like. All right. <coughs> so let's uh, uh, let's go over some of those uh, some of those symptoms. They have really low self-confidence in themselves. They never put themselves up. They can poorly see themselves as a person. All right. So all this means is that uh. A certain person cannot find anything good about themselves, and I'm not talking about women. Or sometimes men on the internet, they're you know, like, "I'm ugly." No, I'm talking about like people that have like a real problem and are actually abused emotionally. If uh, this is one's pretty obvious, if someone's like always crying about just anything at all, or if they were always like talking about having a problem at their house, <clears throat> that's a clear sign that they're being abused. This just means uh, that they just don't hang out with people and they're just so super secluded and by themselves all the time. They won't, involve, they won't be involved in activities that they would usually be involved in or they won't be involved in the interests that they like. This just means that like if you know someone's interested in something and they just don't do it. And that, yeah.